Hi, welcome to Spring into Storytime. My name is Orla, I work in Kilmeha Library and today I'm going to read The Magic Moment. This story is written by Niall Breslin, some of you might know him as Brezzy, and it's illustrated by Sheena Dempsey. There's some lovely pictures in this and it's published by Gill Books and this is one of my favourite stories. The Magic Moment. Larry. Now here we go. Freddy stood at the end of his mum and dad's bed, wearing the new swimming gear they had bought him. Is it time to go swimming yet? he asked. Oh, not for another few hours, Freddy, said his very sleepy mum. Must have been pretty early. Dad's still asleep, but even the dog is one eye closed. Freddy lay on the floor and practised his swimming stroke. Today, for the first time, he will be swimming in a real pool. Come and eat your breakfast, Freddy. Even little dinosaurs need energy, laughed his mum. Freddy felt too excited to eat, but his mum had made his favourite breakfast. And I can see him giving little bits to, bits to Larry the dog. Freddy's dad said he had to wait a whole hour after his breakfast before he could go swimming. Oh, it felt like forever. So while he waited, Freddy helped his dad pack the swimming bag. Dinosaur armbands, check. Swimming togs, check. Towel, check. Where were his goggles? Larry. Wow, look at this. When they arrived at the pool, Freddy rushed into the changing room. There were lots of bigger boys there. They were very loud and, and excited too. Suddenly, Freddy's tummy felt a bit funny. He didn't feel quite so keen to jump in. Oh, it's too cold, Dad. I, I don't want to go swimming today. It it's okay, Freddy, said his dad gently. You will warm up in no time. No, Dad, I just want to go home, said Freddy. Freddy felt really sad that he was too afraid to get into the water. He was sorry he didn't get the chance to use all the cool swimming gear his mum and dad had bought him. Don't worry, we'll go again another day and you'll be fine. You'll like it once you get used to it, said his dad. And Freddy had decided he was never going back. It was too scary. That night, one of Freddy's favourite people came to visit. Nana always had time to read him stories and sing songs. Nana asked Freddy about his trip to the pool, so he told her he'd been too afraid to get in. Oh, it's okay to feel scared, Freddy, said Nana. Really, Nana, he replied with surprise. Would you like me to teach you a very special trick that you can use every time you feel a bit scared or sad? Oh, Freddy's eyes lit up. Oh, yes, please, Nana. While Nana helped Freddy get ready for bed, she explained the trick. Now listen carefully. Close your eyes and think of the happiest, most fun day you can remember. Oh, Freddy had so many happy memories that he wasn't sure which one to choose. He thought of the cool new bike he got on Christmas Day. And the time he went to the fun park and won his dinosaur teddy. Look at him upside down in the horrible thing. He's not scared. But the happiest, most fun day in the whole world was the day he got his dog Larry. He thought about Larry jumping up and licking his face and chasing him all over the house. They had played all day until they both fell asleep under the apple tree that Freddy's dad had planted for him when he was born. Oh, I've got my happy memory, Nana, said Freddy. Okay, Freddy, now squeeze your thumb and finger on each hand together really tight. Take 10 deep breaths and keep thinking about that magic moment. And always remember, when you're scared or feeling sad, a little bit angry, a little bit mad, just slow down and start to breathe in and out 10 times with ease. Think of something that makes you smile and hold the thought for a little while. Then squeeze your fingers really tight and your magic moment will shine so bright. Got that? 
Freddy woke up the next morning feeling much better. He thought about how sad he felt coming home from the pool. But then he thought about the new trick Nana taught him. The magic moment had worked. Maybe he would give Simmy one more try after all. When Freddy went back to the pool with his dad, the big noisy boys were there again. He put his thumbs and fingers together, closed his eyes and took ten deep breaths, just like Nana had taught him. What are you up to, Munchkin? asked his dad. I'm just doing my magic moment trick. Freddy stood at the side of the pool. He took a deep breath, <gasps> held his nose and splash, he jumped right in. And that was the most magical moment of all. The end. Now isn't that brilliant? That book is available in your local library. The Magic Moment by Niall Bresen. Thank you for listening.